Hey guys, Josh Hankin here, creator of the DVRT Ultimate Sandbag Core Training Systems, along with physical therapist Jessica Bento. What we're going to do today is talk about carries and a fun way to add more variety with carries, also get more out of carries. So if you read the blog post at dvrtfitness.com, you'll know that we talked about basically both creating a obstacle course and using some of our water inserts. You can start just with an obstacle course and just using uh, our sand ultimate sandbags if you need to, but I'm gonna show you the concept and basically how you can progress with it. So Jessica's gonna start with two core, uh, I'm sorry, power ultimate sandbags here. She's gonna deadlift them up to start with. Now she's locking her, her shoulders into place. She's making sure that she's gonna walk at a good pace. She's gonna work on toe off. She's gonna walk basically in and out of the kettlebells here and you'll see as she turns that becomes the more challenging part so if you have an internal filler like water it'll move actually with you as you move through the uh, course so it'll make it more difficult the sand's a great place to start and you could also do if you don't have uh, the water system is to go to a bigger USB you can even go mix match like Jessica's gonna do now so even if they're the same weight uh, or one's heavier, that's fine. This mix match feeling will make this a lot more challenging. You'll get a lot more core uh, work and stability through the motion because both as the heavier ultimate sandbag or a bigger ultimate sandbag is gonna challenge you more so. The last thing we can do is start playing with position. So Jessica goes ahead and shoulders one ultimate sandbag. So we generally start the lighter ultimate sandbag on the shoulder. She'll deadlift the opposing one. So now we got a cool cross pattern going on as she goes through the little obstacle course again getting a lot more challenge. And you can imagine if this was our water inserts, it'd be really challenging for her to resist rotation in the movement. So you can start off with something like one minute of doing this. So you can do one minute either side. If you're doing both at the same time, it's one minute. We'll go do something else, come back for a minute and build up over time. I would say if you can do about three minutes at a time, you can build up more weight uh, and you can also play with the speed of the motion. So hope you enjoyed this series, gave you some great ideas. Check out more at dvrtfitness.com.